Well, I have three books out at the moment. A Life Not My Own, that's my first baby. Uh, the second one is Struggles of the Women Folk, and that's based on um, stories that my grandmother told me growing up. Um, she used to just tell me little tales, and she didn't give me a whole lot of detail. So when I decided to maybe create a story around it, I took those bits of information that she had provided me with and just went, went crazy with it. Um, the third book is called Just Between Us, and that's a collection of short stories with an awesome group of authors that I've been working with. Um, we met through social media and um, decided to put together this collection of short stories, um, real life, real stories of, about things that happened in our lives. And we intentionally wanted this particular collection to be free so that it could reach as many people as possible. advantages to self-publishing is that you have complete control over your over your product. Um, you can decide to uh, just do paper format or you can decide to do paper and e-format or just e. Um, one of the disadvantages is as a new author you really have to do your research to ensure that you know you you find the right uh, company to, to support you with that. Well, unfortunately, a lot of the uh, settings that take place in a life not my own um, don't exist anymore. The um, community that I grew up in, it has since been torn down and, you know, um, but the main road that ran in front of our house, it's still there. So there have been a few times when I made a trip to Baltimore, I drove down that road and it did bring back a lot of memories. One in particular comes to mind as we're talking about this now. You know, when I was a girl, I would look out my bedroom window across the street at the train tracks and there would always that it was an active rail so there were always trains going by and I, I always wondered where were, where were they going would I ever go to the places that these trains go that's really just my writing style you know um, I'm more comfortable in a small group than I am in hundreds of people. And my day job, I have spoke in you know, a forum with hundreds of people, and I find that very nerve wracking. And because of the background that I come from, um, I've, I've developed the ability to sort of become a chameleon in terms of just fitting in with the environment. And if, I, if I'm going to share my innermost thoughts, I can't do that in that huge environment. You know, I, I, I like to interact with people one-on-one -on -one, and that's why I wrote, that's why I write the way that I do. <laughs> to this day, I'm always surprised when I actually make that sale it just totally surprises me because it's like, okay, first of all, I've written something that other people want to read, you know, that just blows me away. And the, the fact that, you know, I'm even given the opportunity to do a book signing just blows me away. This whole process is so different from who I thought I was. You know, the idea of, of being a, a part of, of a book signing with other authors who are so much more advanced in this whole thing 
than, than I am. It just blows me away each and every time. <laughs>
Tina puts a lot of pressure on herself. Yes, they inspire me, but I feel the pressure. What's next? I've got two things that I'm kind of playing around with. A continuation of a life not my own, which I really don't want to do because it's going to put me in that state that I really don't want to go back to, you know. Um, I've also started writing a continuation of um, Struggles of the Women Folk. One of the characters in that book, um, she tells the story from a different perspective. So it sort of takes you back a bit and then brings you forward. And I'm really liking that. You know, that's the cool thing about being a, being a writer or a storyteller or an, an author, whatever term we want to use for. It's like, sometimes you write something, just a line or so. You can write a whole book, right? But there's just a couple lines in that book that when you're writing it, it's like, oh, this is so good. <laughs> so that's kind of where I am right now. <laughs>
that, that group. Uh, my husband and I, we were in Belgium and he was about to retire. Um, he was in the military and I had been in the military prior to that. So we made a decision that wherever we were to find employment at, that's where we were settled. That brought us to Stroudsburg. Yeah, my taste in food is a little all over the place too. I love Chinese food. Um, I like soul food. Um, but then I like Italian food. I love like sausage and peppers and that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm all over the place with food too. <laughs> when I'm not writing, you may find me in my backyard with a pickaxe creating another garden bed. I love to garden. I paint a little bit as well. And actually my second book, Struggles of the Women Folk, the cover on the book is actually a portion of one of the paintings that I did about five years ago. Not too much into sports. Um, I like to watch track and field. I, it reminds me of when I was in the army and I had to run a lot, you know. Not that I was ever a great runner. I guess that's why I'm impressed, you know, with the long distance runners and that sort of thing. It's kind of simple, just right. You know, I come across people all the time when I'm doing different events that say, that say you know, they would love to write, but they, they don't think that they can. Um, just right. I mean, there's people out there that can help with the editing and the publishing and all of that. What a, what a writer or a storyteller or an author brings to the table is the fact that they have the story, you know. So just write and write about what you know. Don't be trendy, you know. Just write about what you know. I was in the Army for almost seven years, like six years, 11 months, and I used to remember the number of days, but I've forgotten since. Uh, when I got out, I was a sergeant, sergeant E5 promotable. Thank you, thank you.